Hey everyone, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be introducing a sensor that has three uh, parts embedded in the same part that's the accelerometer, magnetometer and the gyrometer and it's known as LSM9DS0. Now to gain more knowledge about that, uh, let's roll up on the website that is controlleverything.com and search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got. As you can see it's a 3D accelerometer, 3D gyroscope, 3D magnetometer and as you can see a long list of features for it and also you can purchase the sensor from here. Further I will be interfacing the sensor LSM 9DS0 with uh, Arduino Nano and for that I require a code. So go to the source tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can have the Arduino code sample as a file from here just like that and also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up. Let's watch. Now in the hardware section, first of all the requirement is of an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controlleverything.com and the reason we are using this is to make connections with other I2C devices and a lot easier. So we are using it and gently uh, make a connection and press the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and we are done with this. Now what we require is very specific that's the sensor lsm 90 su and here comes a connecting cable. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor and making sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C shield. Now the last part is to provide the power backup and for that we require a mini USB cable just like this and we are done. Uh, now for that uh, the next part we require is to have a look over the code and let's see how it interfaces. Well for the interfacing part what we require is to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you can see on my screen and there you go. And here we have to search for the sensor that is lsm 9 ds 0 as you can see and here it is and this is the Arduino code we are looking forward to export but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and the steps to install the Arduino software are provided on this very link. Let's open up this link so that we can have a better view regarding the installation and everything. Now as you can see you can download the Arduino software from here and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. All the relevant information is provided on this very site and please do follow the procedure and install it. After that uh, get back to the Arduino code as you can see it's a .in extension file. And now in the code please uh, follow this rule as you can see uh, first of all we have to include the y.h library which you are able to see on my screen. Now as you can see it's a 3D accelerometer, gyrometer and magnetometer and as you can see uh, we have defined the address of the gyrometer that is 0x6a and we have the acceleration address of the sensor that is 0x1e as you can see on my screen. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master along with initialization of serial communication that uh, having a baud rate equal to 9600. Then comes the writing part where we are selecting the control register 1 having address 0x20 and we are sending the command to set the data rate that is 95Hz x, y, z axis enabled and power on mode and that's 0x0f as you can see. After that we are selecting the control register 4 having address 0x23 and the command we are sending here is to select a full scale range that is 2000 dps continuous update as you can see and it's 0x30. After that we are again selecting the control register 1 as you can see uh, on the register that is 0x20 and we are sending the command for the acceleration data rate that is 100Hz x, y, z axis enabled and power on mode is 0x67 as you can see. After that we are selecting the control register 2 and it's 0x21 and we are sending the command for full scale selection range that is plus minus 16g and it's 0x20 writing command. Then we are sending a uh, selection of control list of file that is 0x24 and we are sending the command for magnetic high resolution output data rate equal to 50 hertz and it goes for 0x70. 
at last uh, almost uh, we are sending the, selecting the control resistor 6 as you can see it's 0 x 2 5 and we are selecting the magnetic full scale range of plus minus 12 volts and it's 0 x 6 0 the last command in the writing section is to select the control resistor 7 having address 0 x 2 6 and here we are selecting uh, the sending the data of normal mode magnetic continuous conversion mode and it goes for 0 x 0 0 as we are done with the sending commands that the writing part now we want to get the data back from the sensor and in the void loop function as you can see we have a for loop which goes for six times and we are selecting the data register having address 40 plus i which is the decimal part and here from this very address we are requesting one byte and reading six bytes of data as you can see for the gyroscopic data for three axes that's the x y and z and here comes the conversion of the gyroscopic data as you can see for the three perpendicular axes and it's according to the data sheet provided for the sensor that is LSM9DS0. After that we have a for loop again and we are selecting the data register having address 40 plus i as you can see. We are requesting and reading six bytes of acceleration data for three perpendicular axes as you can see x, y and z. Similarly following the data sheet procedure we are converting the data and then we are having the reading section which is to select data register having address 8 plus i and for that very register we are requesting and reading 6 bytes of magnetometer data as you can see for the 3 perpendicular axis x, y and z. Similarly the conversion of the magnetic data takes place here and after that we are going to print the outputs on the screen and the output data on the serial monitor as you can see we have the x axis of rotation along with the y and z axis similarly acceleration data for x y and z axis and at last we have the magnetic field uh, for the three perpendicular axis x y and z so we are done with all the relevant information regarding uh, this sensor that is lsm 9 dsu now what we require is to have a look over the practicality that's the working environment of this particular sensor that is lsm 9 dsu let's have it now in the working environment the first step in the process for the practicality is to copy this entire code of the Arduino as you can see on my screen. Now open up the Arduino here and in this part we have to paste the entire code as you can see on my screen and save it by the name lsm9ds0 as you can see on my screen and here we go. Now verify and compile it and after that upload the code. As you can see the code is being uploaded. Now we are done. Now open up the serial monitor so that we can have the output on the screen. As you can see we have the x, y and z axis of rotation. Acceleration in all the three perpendicular axis along with the magnetic field in x, y and z axis. As you can see the values are almost stable because there is no change regarding any part. Now when I try to rotate or move the sensor you can see the changes in the acceleration and the rotation for all three perpendicular axes and some movement for the magnetic field as you can see when I'm changing the direction of the sensor yeah there you go also when I bring a magnet near the sensor you can see the changes for the magnetic field in x y and z axis also so this is how this sensor works now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits and the applications regarding the sensor LSM 90 s let's have it the LSM 9DS0 is a system in package featuring a 3D digital linear acceleration sensor, a 3D digital angular rate sensor and a 3D digital magnetic sensor. The LSM 9DS0 has a linear acceleration full scale of plus minus 16 G till plus minus 16 G, a magnetic full scale range till plus minus 12 volts and an angular rate of plus minus 2000 degrees per second. The LSM 9DS0 include an I2C serial bus interface supporting standard and fast mode and an SPI a serial standard interface. Due to these features, the sensor LSM 9DS0 is, is useful in applications like indoor navigation, smart user interfaces, gaming and virtual reality input devices and display map orientation. As you can see, this sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase the sensor from here. You can also have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file.
You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page. For articles and blogs which are relevant to this video and the sensor you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can have a look over and subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot.